bobs and bobs and surprises. Let's see what Renantera Monachica has for surprises for us. Because look, look what has happened. Yeah, I think she's gone. And I want to know why. And maybe it would interest you if we can figure out why. Because this is not doing anything anymore. These two leaves. There's nothing going on in here. So let's have a look. Well, the root system is compromised. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, goodness, I thought it was all going to be gone, gone. They're not perfect. Sorry about the people shouting in the background. But they're all going to be dead very soon because it's all coming from the stem. So besides treating it with hydrogen peroxide and dragon's blood, there's something very, very wrong with the stem. Let's have a look. And all this manifested itself from when it started blooming. I don't see anything. It's woody. It's dead. So let it be known, I am on the hunt for a Renanthera monachica. I will not be without this orchid. So I'm on the market for that. Hello, what's this? Look at... What's that? Let me just get my clippers out again. I mean, never give up, right? But even so, I am on the market for a Renanthera Monachica, even if whatever is down here has not spread further up, but it has. Look at that. Maybe an insect got to her. Because there is no reason why this should have happened. Maybe an insect got to her. Bit her and in came an infection with the way I was spraying her. So, yes, I'm really sorry to start this episode off on a negative note, but let's keep it real. We lose some, we win some. And I'm on the market, clearly, for a Renanthera Monachica. Let's look at what else has happened in my collection the last time we had a look around. Moving swiftly on, not easy to lose an orchid that you've had since the seedling. But let's, uh, let's keep going. We'll get another one. So this is um, Siamese Doll Kiwi. Bloomed beautifully for me last year. First time bloomer for me last year. She had one bloom, one bl bud blasted. So she's got these two new growths coming right here. They are maturing. And uh, I'm enjoying the freckles on the leaves because I think that's all I'm gonna get this year. Look at the buds. It's got a black tip on it. It's not looking good. And the other one down there is already gone. And here, something else has been busy in my Siamese doll kiwi which is a shame. It's early in the season. 
and I don't know if she is going to recognize the fact she has not bloomed and chuck out some more new growths. I wouldn't know. But yes, I thought I was going to get four blooms this year and that is what happens as well. Do not stare at your buds. Top tip, ninja orchid top tip, don't gawk at buds. Look at them, put them away and forget you ever saw them. <laughs> Okay, that is the unfortunate discovery and surprise of my Siamese doll, Kiwi. Here I have two candidates that have something good going on. I thought I'd break up the monotony of some of the bad surprises. And on the left here, you can see my Lelia perinii. These two little growths are the ones that I grew since I had her. This one threw up an empty sheath, and this one, even though it has no comparison to its actual size and how it should be, it bloomed for me last year. The bloom only lasted 11 days, so I was very surprised about that. And then after that, for a long, long time, she's done absolutely nothing but sleep. And here we are now, she is waking up there's the new growth. So Ed, if you're watching, has yours woken up yet? Because if you need a signal about what's going on, Perinii in Spain is on the move. That looks also like it's gonna be a nice big growth in comparison to what I produced the previous two years. And next to her is Vanda Christensoniana Vietnamica or Christensoniana Vietnamica or Vanda Vietnamica, take your pick. As far as I'm concerned, I would understand exactly what you're saying if you say all of them. But the, initially Christensoniana Vietnamica, so not looking too shabby, I would say. I've never had this bloom for me. But at least now we're seeing some activity with regards to root growth. I have a nice new root coming out there. And another little one tucked down here. Of course, right where the wire is because that is what orchids do, right? Uh, it's gonna be fine, it'll find its way. That is also what orchids do. They will find a way with their roots to get in and around but I think it's remarkable. So I'm quite pleased about these two candidates showing me some kind of activity. And who are we spying on from this angle? Who has graduated to my prime real estate location? Looking at her from behind. And looking at her from the front. So I've put a filter on because I'm hoping that I can we can see her better. It's a little bit still dark with a blinding light in the back there. She is not in full sun. I'm keeping her shaded, but this is the Guatemalensis. She's a big girl now. She lives outside because she's rooting in like there's no tomorrow and she has two new growths coming. There's one there. And there's one there. So Guatemalensis is a big girl now. And finally, let's get the positive curve going back up. My little Neo Finisher Rainbow Forest or something like that. I don't know. I'll call it Rainbow Forest because I have no other ID for it. Doing fantastically on the root front and starting with her first spike. So last year I got four spikes out of her from these different fans. Let's see what she does this year. But spikes on the Neo, once they come, they come fast. And all these new roots here. 
doing really, really well in her little basket. So there's blooms to come and they have been allocated. We have so many buds on my Gloriosa Speciosa. Look at that. Growing orchids, I forget how quickly other plants grow. So here are the buds and lots of them. And then look, here's one opening. Isn't that gorgeous? And then look, tucked away back here. We're almost all the way curled up. Look at those colors. <gasps> ah, love this. And then here, more buds, but look, one is fully open. Oh my goodness, it looks like an octopus. My Gloriosa Lily is back and she's doing really well. And look at these little guys. I had to tie one up. It was looking a little bit droopy for whatever reason. But look, there's one helping out. They're holding hands. <laughs> Saw that her neighbor here was struggling, getting tied up loosely and reached out to give a helping hand. I love these. I love them. My Mars Rover. That's just, yeah. Very excited to have this one back in my life. Always finish off on a positive note, right? And what a beautiful way to finish off with the Epidendrum Parkinsonianum blooms. Look at that. Look at the size of them. There'll be an up close and personal, let's talk, Epidendrum Parkinsonianum. And that wasp loves it. So thank you everybody very, very much for joining me for the bits and bobs and surprises. In this case, ups and downs or vice versa, downs and ups. Thank you everybody, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.